Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today we are going to be creating our very own crafting system. So rather than using the normal things like the forge or the workbench and cluttering up that sort of system when you make your own items for the game, we'll be able to use our own workbench which is completely separate from all the other crafting in the game. So this is also going to link up with my scripting tutorial series. My sixth video after this will cover how to create your own system like Hearthfire where you build things off your own workbench and build up your home slowly using a number of different materials. It's also present in my Riverside Shack and Millwater Retreat mod. So go check those out if you haven't already. All the links are going to be in the description. So this can be a standalone tutorial. You don't have to worry about scripting. You don't have to do all that with this. Uh, this is just for people who want their own crafting system mainly. So to go ahead we are going to go under World Objects here, Furniture and we're going to copy the normal workbench in the game. So find it under there. You can do this with anything you like as long as it's got sort of relevant activator markers or it's an activator, uh, sorry not an activator, a piece of furniture that will allow it. Not everything's going to work with it. But the, uh, the standard workbench will be fine. So first thing we want to do is give this a new name, make a very own version of it and I'll put workbench, just give it its own name, oh, already got workbench there, click OK, new form, so just preview, our workbench there, there it is, so I'm just going to use the normal one, like I said you can use whatever you want, so after we've confirmed a new form, uh, the reason I've done that is if we were to even add scripts, although we're not going to, if you're going to add things like scripts and change certain things, maybe like keywords, sometimes if you set all that and then make a new form, it forgets the information. So if you're copying an existing one, you're best just making a duplicate version and then editing after the unique ID is confirmed. So let's go some of these flags here, they're not all really used but I'll go through them nevertheless. Random animation start you're not going to need, child can use, I wouldn't recommend it for a workbench. Uh, is marker is going to cause it to sort of disappear, I'm not sure what use that has, I'm sure it's used for something but we don't want it for this. Disables activation there's no need for, must exit to talk, that's pretty self explanatory though I'm not going to tick it for this. Is purchase something to do with dragons which I'm sure you don't want a dragon sitting on your workbench. Ignored by sandbox is exactly what it says. If an NPC is in sandbox and using anything around them in a specific radius, if you tick this box, they're not going to use your workbench. Now, this is going to be extremely useful for those that do want to do a sort of hearthfire system and don't want a, an NPC wandering over there and using it when you're trying to build your home. So I'm going to keep that ticked for, for me too. Interaction keyword. This is just going to be a keyword that covers all of the uh, sort of NPCs and the player who can use this workbench so you could set this up to actor type troll so any trolls could use it though I'm sure they haven't got an animation to but just an example uh, you probably want to keep this as actor type NPC otherwise it might mess things up. So bench type it says smithing armor this is going to depend on the crafting menu that shows now we just want our very own crafting menu so it would be create object uh, but if you were doing sort of alchemy and things like that, you're going to want to select the one that you're going to need. But I'm just going to go with create object. The uses skill can have a massive effect on things. If you're creating recipes for your own workbench, which craft multiple items at a time, say like 25 arrows, it can have a problem with sort of distinguishing how much skill should be adding on and it can pump your skill up too quickly. So I'm not going to use this, but you can if you like. So it'd be a bit of try and, trial and error there. Uh, script, we're not going to add a script like I said, we don't really need one for this. And you don't have to worry about sort of active markers and all that, that should be there if you're copying an existing sort of piece of furniture. And you don't always need one. Now the keywords is where things get pretty important. Uh, there's one keyword that we need to worry about here, you want to leave everything else that's here. But you do want to get rid of crafting, smithing, armor, table. And you're going to replace this with your own keyword. Because the way that the crafting system works is if you've ever wondered how it knows what recipes go to where, this is how it does it. It does it off a keyword. So when you go on a recipe, it will have a workbench keyword. And whatever keyword is in there, any piece of furniture with that keyword is what the recipe will show on. So in this case, the crafting, smithing, armor, table, that will get every sort of tempering recipe will have that keyword and it'll be placed on that workbench and we're not going to want that we're going to want our own 
so we'll delete it, alternate click new and create our own DFK workbench so when we make the recipes that we want that go onto our workbench we're going to have to add this keyword onto that and we'll do that in a moment click OK make sure that's on there OK again and I'm just going to drag the workbench where I want it in my test cell here you'll put it wherever you want it and just hit save our progress so now we're going to go under miscellaneous and recipe just to see sort of how the recipes work sorry items and constructible objects even uh, your keyword is under miscellaneous keyword you can see there DFK workbench you could have created it in there and selected it after you can do it either way it doesn't really matter but we're going to go under constructible object and if we just type in temper and double click on one of these you'll see it had the workbench keyword here crafting smithing armor table so that's where we'll make our own recipe for our own item and add our keyword there so we're just going to open it, click new save editing anything existing df127 basket recipe just going to pick a basket it's nice and quick uh, basket 01 there we go and you're going to want to select the created object sorry that's going to be the basket the uh, the required items is what's going to be needed to craft it so basket and created object and then we'll choose this as build your own home material should be straw we'll just use straw so one the item count how many you want now the workbench keyword here like i said this needs to be your keyword dfk workbench or whatever you've called it and then created object count how many baskets are going to be made off this one and this is where it sort of links back to the uh, the skill that we had on the furniture item if you had this at like 100 and you started crafting these with one piece of straw it's going to shoot your skill up too quickly so you've got to be aware of that when you're making it and the conditions are quite interesting if you're setting up a condition for say you've got an ebony piece of armor and you only want to be crafting that when you've got the ebony perk then this is where you'd set it you'd alternate click new now i'm not going to go through all the conditions but you've got things like has perk most of the has conditions are sort of make sure that the actor has this or you can say get this is a uh, sort of in motion a subject is going to be the player or the person using the workbench so that's what we want we're going to say has perk subject and if we wanted them to have the ebony smithing then we just type in ebony smithing select our perk and equals is equal to one as if to say true this sort of condition has to be true so you're going to want to have a little play around with your conditions and if you know what you're doing with scripting and all that and sort of other things in the kit you might well know how conditions work which is great for you but in my case I'm just going to make this nice and simple so we can craft it from the off just to see our workbench working and I'm not going to use a condition so that should be everything set pretty nice click OK and now our tempering recipe or crafting recipe even is linked to our workbench we can go in game and check it out okay so here we are in the test cell and there's the workbench dark fox 127 workbench give that an activate miscellaneous basket create let's go into the inventory here there's our quality basket i'm sure you'll agree so that's it that's how you make your own workbench uh, shortly after this video i will be uploading the scripting tutorial 6 which will cover how to use this as a sort of crafting system to build your home up and enable and disable items as well as do some other cool things that'd be really awesome so i hope you found this tutorial useful please let me know in the comments below hit that like button if you like the video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and check out my main website and my anti-social websites for all the usual so thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you next time